It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh. You are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and... There were so many things going wrong. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was there when the hero of Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause, others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. I'll leave you to your work. Inquisitor, greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. One day I'm going to read all these books. One day, when I have time. Here is a request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate, based on the partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. The Warden you brought to Skyhold, his name is Alistair? Yes. Didn't you meet him? No, there's no point in that now. He seems a good man. That's true. He does. It's not important. I'm simply musing on the clever tricks the Maker plays. I trust everything is well with the Mages. Most are pleased with the Alliance, even if we wonder what will happen next. Another time. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius's son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No. I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, 
Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Inquisitor? My lady Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions, the De Winter. Mm. Has Dorian done something wrong? No, thankfully. It's nothing like that. I have been in contact with his family. House Pravas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Why exactly would you be contacting Dorian's family? I didn't contact them, Inquisitor. They contacted me. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... Are you sure this isn't some kind of trap? I mean, the secrecy. That it occurred to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatroi? Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. I pray that isn't the case. But if it is, you are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family... <sighs> I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. I ran into Fiona. Seems you have Alexius serving the mages. There's some justice in that after what he did to them. Maybe one day he'll realize it. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. This could be the Venatori. Lure us somewhere remote, then an ambush. Perhaps. Although this does look like my father's penmanship. Or... Could he have joined the Venatori? No, that can't. Well, anything is possible. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> 